Hey guys, so today I am doing my April favorites and I cannot believe that it is already May 2nd. I'm filming this on May 2nd. Um, it's a Wednesday. I can't believe it's already two days into May. Just crazy to me that it's already this time of the year again. So I've got um, makeup and some body products. So I think I'll just start off with like face makeup stuff and then I'll move on to like body products and hair products. I have one hair product. Yeah, just one hair product to show you guys. And I'm sorry I didn't do a monthly favorites um, for March, but I was just so crazy busy. Um, we just moved into a new house. We actually bought a house and just at the end of March, we got possession of the house um, March 23rd. So as you can imagine, everything was just crazy, crazy busy right around that point. And I kept meaning to film a March favorites, but I never got around to it. And I also just didn't really have that many products that I had been using that have been like different or new or anything like that. I was pretty much just using the same things. And since we had been so busy weeks ahead of the move in date, I didn't really like do a lot with my makeup or any other routine I have. I wasn't really doing anything crazy. So that is why I didn't have a March favorites. And don't mind my hair. It's just kind of like natural today. Um, I just kind of just let it air dry and I just didn't really feel like straightening it. I'm trying to just like leave heat out of the mix for, I don't know, I'm gonna try and do it for like a week, just like a no heat week or something like that because my hair definitely needs a break. So that is the story behind that. So I'll, I'll move on to face products I'll start with. So the first face product that I've been loving slash like just re-loving because I've been loving this for like a year now since I picked it up um, and tried it for the first time last year. And I just went and picked up a new one um, probably just over a month ago. And I've just been loving it again, especially since it's nice out again. Um, I just like to have a lighter foundation on my face. So I've been using the CoverGirl Nature Luxe foundation um, quite a bit and sorry I don't mind my nails they're awful looking right now and this is in Aspen uh, 320 so that's uh, more like um, this is more like my color for when I more color in my skin which I have uh, now I've been doing a little bit more self tanning and it's just been really nice out so I've been sitting outside and doing a lot of reading and just being outdoors a lot so I've been starting to build up a little bit of color so that's great and then for days when I don't even feel like using this which is quite light um, on its own it's pretty much a tinted moisturizer it's just a little bit more than a tinted moisturizer um, but when I don't feel like using that I have been using my Rimmel Stay Matte um, foundation powder and this is in True Ivory, and it's just a powder foundation. So I just apply this all over my face. I usually use a flat um, kabuki to apply it, and just a little bit of concealer, and that's my foundation for the day. So, yeah. Um, as for blush, I just discovered this new blush. Well, it's not new, it's new to me. Um, about a week ago, and I did a blog post on it. And I'm just in love with it. So I've been wearing this like every day for like the last week. So I figured I'd have to show you guys what it is. And it is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Blush. And this is in Pink Sorbet. Yeah. And I just love this color. It's just the like nicest color. I'm going to give you the silly little brush, which I haven't even taken out of the plastic. Like, so silly. Just looks like that. It's got like a crown indented into it if you can see. Super cute. Um, I'll link my blog down below if you guys want to get um, a little bit more info on what I think about this. But um, I've been absolutely loving it and it's super affordable too. I found this at Walmart for about five dollars Canadian. So if you're looking for a affordable blush and they have uh, they had a quite a few different shades to offer but I just thought this one was really pretty it looks nice with like a tan 
and it's just got a tiny little bit it doesn't look like it in the packaging but it has a tiny little bit of frost to it so it looks really nice um, gives you a nice glow so it's quite fair though so anyone with like a really dark skin tone it probably would look not quite right but um, for just like tan or really fair skin tones this is um, probably a really great color so been loving that and then for um, mascara I have been loving my voluminous million lashes um, L'Oreal mascara and this is just the waterproof one and I've just been loving this like I don't know I still I switch between um, three mascaras right now I've been loving this one this has been my most recent favorite so I figured I'd show this to you guys um, I still love my CoverGirl 24 hour, the one in the black tube, and I still have been loving my Lash Stiletto, the one in the silver tube by Maybelline. So I've been loving all three of those, and I've actually been combining them together and stuff too. Like I like combining this and the Lash Stiletto together, but I've just in general been really liking this. Um, just quickly show you guys the brush, it's nothing special or amazing, just lots of little fibers. So. It does um, a really great job of giving nice voluminous lashes so yeah and I just got waterproof in this because it's summer now pretty much and yeah I just like wearing I just prefer to wear waterproof mascara in the summer and on to lip products I haven't really been wearing um, too much like lipstick or anything like that because like I said I've been busy I've been doing a ton of running around and um, I just have so much going on in my personal life right now that I'm just been like so busy. It's crazy. So I've been just pretty much using this every single day and it's my MAC Tender Tone and it's in Hush Hush. And I already shown this to you guys before. It's just kind of like a peachy, goldy, bronzy um, lip balm, basically. And... Yeah, everyone's heard a million things about these, I'm sure. Um, you're probably all like, shut up about these because everyone's just been talking about them since they got um, re-released like a month or two ago. But if you're interested and you don't know about them, I've done a blog post on this as well. So again, my blog will be linked down below if you want to go check that out. Now on to body and um, face. And I have one nail polish to show you as well. Oh, and one hair product. Um, so I will start with... Um, my body product that I have to show you and my love of this month and it's been a love for quite a few months now uh, approximately seven um, bio oil like do you see this it's like the hugest bottle and it's already half it it's like half gone um, this has been my um, my holy grail product um, if any of you don't know most of you probably don't um, unless you follow me on Twitter and then you might have a clue um, but I haven't made it like a YouTube thing I didn't want to do videos like on a weekly basis I didn't really want to make it like a huge deal so um, I'm pregnant and this has been my holy grail product I've been applying this to my belly um, all the time twice a day at least um, I'm just determined to get as, just keep my skin as nice as possible. I mean, in reality, everyone's going to get stretch marks. Um, so I just want to make um, the transition as easy as possible for my skin so I can get as few as possible. But I'm not deluded enough to think that I won't get any at all because that's just not going to happen. And I've already gotten a couple, so, but that's fine. But this has been, I think, um, really great in just helping um, control them and it just moisturizes my skin really nicely and yeah if you're pregnant um, I would highly recommend looking into using bio oil or I've heard of a couple other products um, that are on the market that actually do pretty much what they say they're gonna do I know stretch marks is like one of those things it's like anti wrinkle cream like you can't really believe what they say but um, I've just been loving using this and I plan on using it the rest of my pregnancy as well as following. So yeah, as for face products, I have been loving two different things. The first thing I've been loving is a sample and I got this from Sephora when I went just a little bit ago. 
And this is the Corez Wild Rose 24 Hour Moisturizing and Brightening Cream. It just came in a little package like this. Um, this is a point perk actually. Um, 100 point perk. Um, so just when you go through the cash and you have like a certain amount of points then you can grab something. And um, I was able to get two different 100 point perk things and this is the one thing I got and I've been using this and you just need the tiniest little bit at least for my skin because my skin's a little bit oily um and I've just been really enjoying this um I just apply it at night after I wash my face and I think I'm gonna have to get suckered into buying the full size of this and I'm not sure how much the full size costs so I'm kind of a little bit scared because my skin is starting to get used to this but yeah, I've been using this for about a week now since I went to Sephora. So yeah, about a week ago. Um, and I just really like it. It's just, it's just made my skin a lot more even. And um, yeah, I've just been enjoying it. My skin seems to like it. So I haven't had any breakouts or anything like that as a result of this yet. So that's a good thing. So might have to go and get the full size of this. We'll see. We will and then see. for face wash, um, my face has just been... Um, my skin in general has just been really difficult. This whole entire time I've been pregnant, it's just been really difficult and not treating me very good. So I have been using um, my St. Ives um, apricot scrub, and this is the Blemish and Blackhead Clearing um, formula. And I just find this has been working really well. Not to specifically like prevent breakouts per se, but... Um, it's done a really good job of controlling my breakouts. When I do get a pimple or two, it seems to clear up the pimples a lot quicker. So I've been enjoying that as well. And for my one hair product, I have just been enjoying, back to me not having any time this past month, month and a half, um, and not obviously using too much heat on my hair, not really having like the time to do anything like that. I've been loving my Chi Straight Guard um, Smoothing Styling Cream. It just looks like that. It's in a little pump bottle. And um, this basically, you can apply it. I apply it to my damp hair, and then um, I either just let it air dry like I did today, and it just kind of it keeps my style, my hair, a lot smoother than if I just let it air dry and didn't really put anything in it at all. Um, so that's good. Or you can put this in and then blow dry your hair and then it gets really nice and straight. And I find if I do that, I don't have to straighten my hair as much or as long. So you're kind of um, cutting down the amount of heat that you put on your hair if you use this. So I've been really enjoying that. And then last but not least is my favorite nail polish of this month. And I just couldn't not mention this because I've worn it on my fingers, on my toes, both several times and I've just gotten so many compliments on it especially when it's on my fingers and I just think it's really cute spring slash summer color and I plan on wearing this a lot more and if you follow me on Instagram I've done an Instagram nail of the day post on this as well so this is the Essie polish in Tarte Deco and this is just I just love this color it's not showing up as like tangerine kind of it's like a creamy tangerine color and I just I'm obsessed with it. It's just so pretty. So pretty. Um, yeah, so it's Tarte Deco. Um, just, I just love it. It just looks so nice, especially when you start getting a little bit of color. Um, and it looks just so cute on both your fingers and your toes, like I said. So, love. And that's all for my April monthly favorites, guys. Um, I'm going to be filming some more videos today, so hopefully I'll have tons to put up in the next like week or so because I'm going to be really super busy. Um, so I want to get as much filming done today as possible. So if I'm either in A, the same outfit, or I have the same hair, just disregard. Um, I'll try and change my clothes and stuff like that, so I give you the illusion that I'm not actually filming like three videos in one day. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed this month monthly favorites video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, don't forget to comment um, and subscribe if you like what you see. Alright, talk to you later. Bye!